Heron International's Gerald Ronson is on the lookout for more residential development sites in the city following the success of his latest tower. Ronson was on hand yesterday for the topping out ceremony at the Heron, currently being built next to the Barbican Centre. The 36-storey residential tower is the Square Mile's first major residential development in more than 30 years. On completion mid-next year, there will be 285 high-spec apartments, as well as a new home for the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Ronson and 200 guests and VIPs braved the windy conditions on the 36th floor of the Heron for the topping out ceremony. He says 80% of the tower's apartments have now been sold off plan. There is no building of residential per se in the City of London, so it's a unique <coughs> project and we were confident right from the beginning that if we would create the right product architecturally, space planned correctly, quality of finishes that we would bring West End finishes to a city building yet a city quality building, we were confident that we would sell the units. 60% um, of the apartments we've sold are to people who are uh, British, when I say British, work in the city, English people etc. And the other 40% we've sold most probably 25% in the Far East, whether it be Hong Kong, Singapore, Kuala Lumpur etc. And the balance has come from Europe, a few to Russia uh, and European countries. With the success of the Heron, Ronson says his next project is the Four Seasons Hotel and Residences next door to the Heron Tower at Bishop's Gate. But he adds that creating residential developments in the City of London is no easy task. The planners are very focused, very responsible and there's places where they will have residential and those are very few places in the City of London uh, and they don't want to sort of have a situation where you've got one office block, one residential tower. Um, obviously we look at whatever opportunities there are available not only in the uh, city but we also have major projects in the West End. Um, we look at London because London is our hometown, London is where we develop uh, and our expertise is. So should there be opportunities that are economically viable then obviously we're looking at them and would want to move forward.